what we're going to cover here. The Espresso Vision, a slight change to that. Um, we're still on the same path. We've always been on this path. It's just uh, the way we talk about it um, might be a bit more relatable, a bit more, what do you call it? Not relatable. Is it relatable? See, I'm really banking on this language right now. I don't know. I don't know. what's. I don't know. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. I can't help you. <laughs> Integrate. <laughs> Path to TGE uh, campaign that we have going on that was just launched. You may have just uh, seen caffeinated it. creators, like just that, yeah. Caffeinated creators. We have Ox Golden joining us in a second, which uh, we're always excited about. Latest publications and where to next? Where will Espresso be next? We'll find out. So yeah, uh, yeah yes, yes. take it away. We don't have uh, Jill with us this morning, unfortunately. So I'm going to. Uh, um, just do a little, you know, quick refresh for those who are new here, just about Espresso, what we're all about, what what the Espresso Network is, what we're building. Um, uh, but you know, simply put, Espresso is a permissionless platform uh, for billions of users and trillions of assets. What that basically means is that we are, you know, creating a a blockchain that really is uh, designed for speed and scalability. Um, and yeah, next slide, please. Um, and really, you know, why that's necessary is because, look, we, you know, crypto a decade ago, you know, promised um, so many things around, around, you know, kind of unified finance, frictionless finance, you know, basically bringing, uh, you know, everything on chain and, and making it easy to, to um, interoperate, you know, cutting out the middlemen, the banks, right? Um, yet here we are in 2025. And you know, we we have, in some respects, recreated the silos that we tried to escape, you know, from the web two world, right? There's no, like, there's no one blockchain to rule them all type type approach, right? It hasn't really worked, right? No blockchain has been scalable enough uh, to, to handle all the world's finance, all the world's assets. Um, and, you know, I, I'm not sure it's uh, realistic for there ever to be, like, the one chain. So what that means is that, you know, we're facing a multi-chain reality. And we need the infrastructure that we don't have yet to make it possible for there to be this kind of seamless composability between all of these disparate chains, right? Like in a world of infinite chains, like how do they all interoperate seamlessly in a you know uh, secure, secure, fast way, right? Um, and you know, right now information moves, you know, across the globe, you know, in under a second. Um, and we just published um, a, a X article on the Espresso Vision that goes into more of this. But, you know, I can send a, a DM, um, e you know, that arrives across the, the world in under a second, right? We can, you know, send a 4K digital file from, you know, whatever one email client to another email client and in under seconds, right? But I still can't uh, send, you know, money to someone without waiting days or, you know, uh, paying a big fee and that sort of thing, right? And, you know, doesn't seem right in 2025. So next, we believe there's a better way. We need to make, make this money move at the speed of information, right? Um, and, you know, you might say that like it can move at the speed of information. Um, and I guess, you know, within one silo, that's true, right? Like if I'm, you know, on PayPal and I pay you, you know, with your PayPal account, fine, it can move at the speed. But we're talking about cross-platform stuff, right? Like I can't use, you know, PayPal uh, on my phone and then, you know, pay you on some other, you know, app. Um, uh, and that's what we're trying to, to uh, eventually achieve with, with uh, crypto. But so we're building a world in which liquidity is unified, which is what that means, what I was just saying. And, and all assets and applications uh, are able to interoperate in, in real time. Um, so